Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in previous video, we have discussed how to do registration for SAP Global Certification exam. Now in this video, we will see how you can select your exam code and how you can see slavers for that exam and what are various frequently asked question in that like students have so many queries in that. So I have also discussed that one by one and I, I'm going to mention how you can see like what's the passing score for uh, your exam code and how your exam interface will be look like and we will also attempt uh, some sample question that's provided by SAP and we will also see what's the difference between six attempt and single attempt and how you can add uh, six attempt and single attempt to your basket and how you can pay for that so we will discuss one by one so first of all just go to google and search sap certification and just go to training.sap.com so just click on that and here what mistake students used to do they just directly go uh, for their exam code and they try to uh, like uh, add them to basket so that's the mistake they are doing so what you need to do first you need to do login right so how you are going to do just click on this icon and here just give your email id whatever your universal id just give that same universal id from uh, through which you have just registered and i have explain that in last video so if you just miss that you can see uh, like first video in that playlist in that complete sap how to book sap global certification playlist you can check first video like in that i have mentioned i have explained how you can register and how you can uh, sign in for that so that's the same universal id you need to give here just select next here give your password hit enter it's showing incorrect give your password and just click on sign in it taking some time If you are stucking like that, you can do one thing. You can just refresh that page. Now you can give again that your universal ID and give your password here. Hit enter. Now just click on sign in. take some time so just wait for a while yes now it's uh, login right so just you ignore that consent management now it's uh, sign in right now it's login so now what I need to do I need to search from here your respective exam code so for example, if you are from sourcing and procurement like SAP MM, you can just select here TS452, TS452 and hit enter. Yeah. So you will see all exams related to that code. So uh, you need to go for the latest one. So right now it's a TS452-2022. So you need to go for that just go for that after some time you will see on that same screen if you will come after some time you will see for 2023 then it will come 2024 so just go for the latest one right so latest one right now is this one so I'm going to select this CTS452 underscore 2022 that's for sourcing and procurement SAP MM Hit 
here uh, that screen open right so name of exam is like sap certified associate sap s4 hana sourcing and procurement and in that there are uh, 80 questions will be there and questions uh, uh, cut off score will be 64% right so 64% is that it's not a marks it's not a 64 marks it's a 64% right duration 180 minutes will be there and you can give your exam in german english spanish french uh, portuguese you can give your uh, exam in these languages right if you want to see uh, the like slaves for that you can see like from procurement process 12% uh, uh, will come so you can see these topics will be covered in that so like that and percentage wise it's mentioned like uh, from this topic how much area you can expect like how uh, percentage wise how much portions will be there in, in in actual exam right so like you can see your complete syllabus right same like that if you just belong to FICO like financial background so you can go for TS 4 FI just keep that hit enter all exam code related to that will open just go for the latest one right and uh, like if you have confusion like uh, uh, for which exam code you should go you can ask to me and how you can connect to me uh, like in description box I will mention my contact detail my whatsapp number so you can ping me there and you can ask to me right so that's the latest one for SAP S4 HANA FICO so just go for that SAP S4 HANA cloud private additional financial accounting so just click on that yeah so it's open so SAP certified associate SAP S4 HANA cloud private edition financial accounting and uh, exam 80 questions will be there and cutoff score is a 61 but in TS452 that was 64 so it depends on exam to exam right and the questions uh, will be like 80 questions same and duration will be 180 and these are the languages in which it's available and you can see here same like uh, your slavers you can see like from financial closing you will get 11 to 20 percent portion general ledger accounting you will get 11 to 20 percent like that you can see from here right same like that if you are from ABAP background, so you can write here ABAP D. So just hit enter. So you will get all exam code related to ABAP D. Right. So two products are there. So this one like ABAP D two three underscore two three zero nine SAP certified associate backend developer. So just click on that. So it will take some time the loading time is more in that uh, website so uh, 80 question will be there and cutoff score is 65 percent here 180 minutes will be there right so you can search like that like if you just belong to sales uh, sd sd module so uh, exam code for that is ts462 that's a c underscore ts462 but if you will just uh, type ts462 it's also enough so just hit enter and you will get all exam code related to that SD so five products are there so just go for the latest one like 2021 is also there and for uh, 2023 is also came for that but it's a cloud version uh, so you, if you just want to go for that you can go for that right so that's for SAP SD so you can ask to me like if you have a doubt like for which exam code you should go you can ask to me and you can uh, ask to me uh, through the whatsapp you can ping me uh, through whatsapp and the number is available in description box so that's screen open sap certified associate sap s4 hana sales right 2022 
so here it's a 61 percent cutoff so exam by exam it will mat, uh, like uh, change like for sd you have seen 61 percent for abab d that was 65 percent like that and in these uh, many languages that's uh, option is available for your exam right and if you just want to see like uh, a syllabus you can see from here right exam preparation you can uh, read all these things right so if you just want to see the sample like how interface will be look like uh, like i will advise to you like uh, before uh, going for real time exam at least go for that sample exam sample questions that sap provide so you can see like which type of uh, interface you will face in the real time exam so you just select view more right so in view more you will see 10 uh, sample question and it, it's for 15 minutes a sample question and in real time also interface will be exactly same like that so you just need to continue on that and exam will be looks like that exam screen screen will be looks like that right so you can uh, go to next next you can select you can also uh, check your knowledge from here how's your preparation is going on so uh, but but that same question is not going to appear in your real time exam but you can see you can face our uh, interface you can see how, how like how your interface will look like when you will go for a real time exam so just go next next like you can select options you can select next 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 right and select option next and finally you can just do submit right so yes like that you can submit right and you will get your score also in a real time also uh, exam is declared immediately right so total score is showing zero out of nine because i didn't attempted any one so that's uh, that's how you can uh, attempt the sample question right so i just recommend to you before going to exam real time exam just attempt that sample questions and you can uh, go uh, through view more just click on view more and you will just come to that screen right so that's how you can uh, like see your syllabus and you can uh, go for sample and you can see your cutoff because it, it used to change maybe if you are going uh, for sap sd latest uh, whenever you are going to apply i don't know maybe you are going to watch that video after two year or three year and you may see like here it can be 54 percent or 65 percent or 70 percent whatever it can change right so you can come here and you can see okay and now how you are going to select for single attempt and six attempt so it's uh, showing as per my country it's showing inr because i have enrolled as per my country i have signed in as per my country as per your country it will mention to you uh, it will mention right so in in our country like in india it's 45263 for six attempt cer 006 is for six attempt you can see here certification exam six attempt and uh, it's a one year validity will be there so for one year you can give six attempt that doesn't mean like uh, that six attempt only for this particular exam code no you are going to take a subscription uh, for sap's like uh, uh, subscription certificate certification hub subscription you have to take and in that 45 to 45263 but here uh, taxes are not uh, included right gst and all taxes are not included so that's without tax once it uh, taxes will be included it will be almost 55000 so once you go for six attempts students also have so many doubt, doubts like uh, if they are just going for six attempts that means like uh, they have to give six attempt they can give six attempt for this uh, particular exam code no it's not like that six attempt means for uh, let's suppose you are going for that same exam code cts4622022 and you if you just failed in single attempt in first attempt you just failed just go for six attempt and you just failed in first attempt then you can give second attempt for that same exam let's suppose if you just failed in second time also you can give for that same exam code for third time like for third attempt for that same exam code but after third attempt you can't give uh, for that same exam code like remaining three attempts that remaining you can give for another exam code 
let's talk about some another scenario like you just gone for six attempt and in single attempt itself you just cleared that exam so for remaining five you can utilize for different modules also like uh, uh, you can go same like that you can go for another module right so that's the concept of six attempt and single attempt but if you don't have a more budget and uh, uh, you can go for single attempt and you can clear it's not uh, rocket science guys uh, in single attempt itself you can clear any global certification exam i have cleared uh, like f f three four times uh, in single attempt itself so it's not a big deal it's not a rocket science you can ask to me like how you can clear that in single attempts so i will definitely let you know i will definitely guide you right so uh, you can ask to me in my number is available in comment section uh, like my whatsapp number so you can ping me on my whatsapp number so in description box i will mention that also so my uh, number will be there right so uh, that's a concept of a six attempt and single attempt right so let's suppose i just want to go for six attempt so what i will do i will just add to basket i will just click on add to basket right So like that, uh, you can add that, right? And you can click on proceed to basket, right? Right, so from here you can see, right? If you have any any cam a campaign code, if you have like uh, some companies used to provide campaign code, or if you got from somewhere, you can apply here and you can get some discount. But if you don't have, you can directly proceed to checkout, right? So in next session, otherwise the session will become uh, so big. So in next session, we will discuss how we can proceed and how we can do a payment, right? So in next session, we will discuss about that. And uh, that the video for that next session uh, will be available in uh, I button also, right? And if you uh, require any guidance, you can connect to me on my WhatsApp number. And this is my latest global certification badge that I have completed three months ago, right? So like that, I have uh, cracked my global certification in single attempt itself. So you can ask to me in uh, like WhatsApp number, I will mention. And in next uh, uh, video, I have uh, talked about how we can book and how we can pay for that and how we, we are going to schedule for uh, exam like how we are going to schedule a date for that so uh, the video for that is available on i button above you can see that so that's about today's session and uh, thank you for staying for the last and if you have any issues or doubts you can ask to me on whatsapp number or you can also ask to me in comment section i will definitely answer that so thank you guys thanks a lot may god bless you all